with breathtaking simplicity. Its rhythms fuel the complexities of human passion. It will beat two and a half billion times over a lifetime, pumping 50 million gallons of blood. No other organ is so married to the human spirit, for its very existence is the pulse of life. Explore the mysteries of the human heart, next on Body Atlas. takes two to tango. And it takes two to fall in love. Two minds in tune, two hearts beating as one. But the inside story of the heart belies its popular image. It harbors no emotions. The heart is simply a pump, driving blood to the furthest extremities of the body through a labyrinth of blood vessels. The heart is unique among our internal organs. It's the only one we can feel working, especially when we dance, exercise, or make love. The sound of a heartbeat is an affirmation of life. It's a sign that every part of our body is being suffused with fresh blood, providing energy, health, and vitality. Blood is the river of life. In its journey around the body, blood delivers essential supplies to every cell. It's also the universal garbage collector, carrying away waste products from our hardworking muscles. Blood loads and unloads its supplies in the smallest vessels, which weave their way between the body's cells. The deliveries include food, water, and other chemicals, but the most urgent cargo is oxygen. Every cell in the body must have a continuous supply of fresh oxygen. To keep on their feet, Miguel and Nubia need a ceaseless flow of blood in generous quantities. From top to toe, the human body contains one and a half gallons of this life-giving fluid. Blood travels an intricate network of vessels through every muscle, tissue, and organ. Joined end-to-end, -end, they would stretch 100,000 miles, long enough to circle the world four times. The heart provides the push that keeps the blood on the move. In large vessels, blood positively races along at one mile per hour. By the time it's reached the smallest capillaries, it has slowed down to one thousandth of this speed. This slow crawl gives blood plenty of time to exchange material with the body's 60 billion cells. The heart can rev up or slow down the entire circulation. A relaxed body doesn't demand a lot of oxygen. The heart beats slowly, and the blood takes a whole minute to go all the way around. But exercise or excitement makes cells hungry for food and oxygen. The heart pumps faster to keep them well supplied. 
Miguel's blood is now racing around his body in only 10 seconds. The blood flow to his hard-working muscles has gone up 20 times. His heart is pumping 30 pints of blood every minute. Even for somebody as fit as Miguel, it takes time for his heart rate to get back to normal. As he recovers from his exertions, his body still needs extra supplies from the blood, in particular oxygen carried by special cells. Blood is thicker than water because it contains several types of cell. The red oxygen-bearing cells give blood its characteristic color. Without them, it's a pale shade of yellow. Every pinprick of blood contains five million red cells. There are 2,500 billion, about 40 for every other type of cell in the body. The red cell is packed with containers specially engineered to carry oxygen. In this computer model of hemoglobin, four tiny yellow regions are crucial. These act as magnets for oxygen. The rest of this huge molecule, an assembly of 10,000 atoms, is only a shelter for these very special sites. The lungs contain a dense filigree of blood vessels wrapped around tiny air-filled sacs. Here, hemoglobin is loaded with oxygen. One-fifth of the blood is always in the lungs doing this vital job. A torrent of blood flows through millions of capillaries that interlace the lung tissue. Oxygen in the air sacs passes easily through the thin dividing walls into the blood to be lapped up by the red blood cells. Blood has a blue tinge when its oxygen stores are low. As it takes this vital gas on board, it flushes a healthy red. The liquid supply of oxygen is now ready to travel to where it's needed. And that's the job of the heart. Nestled between the lungs at an odd angle, the heart is a little larger than a fist and weighs less than a pound. This scan shows a living heart in action, rhythmically pumping blood. Despite popular belief, the heart lies in the middle of the chest, but the strongest pulsations are in the lowest part. That's why we feel our heartbeat on the left side of the body. When resting, the heart beats 70 times a minute, 100,000 beats per day for a lifetime. Every beat pumps 1 15th of a pint of blood the amount of wine left in this glass. <laughs>